we're going to do. Do we have any more questions? Are we good to go? Are we ready to build an aquarium? Yeah, let's go build an aquarium. So everybody in the audience today should have a kit. If you don't have your kit yet, you can still order one, get it later, come back and do the video again. So what we're going to do is talk a little bit about what an aquarium is. Why would we want to have an aquarium? Why do we need them? Well, an aquarium is an artificial habitat. It's a habitat that we've created for fish and other aquatic creatures to live in. Now, <clears throat> why would you want to have an aquarium? Well, there's lots of different reasons. Probably the number one reason that people keep aquariums is for pets or as a hobby because they enjoy watching aquatic creatures and they like to keep them in their home where they can enjoy them. Uh, another reason would be education, and that would be the mission of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Monterey Bay Aquarium's primary goal is education and conservation. So one of the things that they do here is bring people up close and personal to see all kinds of uh, aquatic creatures that they wouldn't get to see otherwise because they're out there in the ocean and most people don't dive or swim where the aquatic creatures are. So you get to see them up close, learn about them, and then get to appreciate them because when we learn about the creatures, we, we come to care about them. And we tend to conserve and protect creatures that we care about. So that's one of the important education missions of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Another reason that people would keep aquariums is for research. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Scientists who want to observe a living thing throughout its entire life cycle will keep a creature in an aquarium where they can closely observe the entire life cycle. Now there's a few important points that I wanted to cover about having an aquarium before we actually put it together. Always make sure you do your research first. There are lots of different types of beautiful fish that you'll find at your local pet store, but they don't all get along. So it's very important to go to the store first. Look at all the different kinds of fish. And if there's some that interest you, write down their names and take them home. And then do a little bit of reading about them. Find out which ones can get along. Because if you get fish that are incompatible species, they can either eat each other or they may actually jump out of the aquarium, and that's not a good thing. So always make sure you check out what you're going to bring home first so that so they're compatible with Let's go ahead and get started other. on putting the aquarium together. You've got several pieces here. This, most obviously, is the tank that you're going to put the water in. Before you fill it up, the one thing that you need to remember is that this was manufactured in a manufacturing facility, and there may be residues on here that would be harmful to your fish.